Please welcome the Foreign Minister of Haiti, Ramont Lamont. What nation in the world would not be proud to have Sean Penn working tirelessly to bring shelter, hope to our resilient people? I am here tonight to thank you, Sean Penn, from the bottom of my heart. As a small token of our appreciation, I want to take this opportunity to announce that the President of Haiti, His Excellency Michel Martelly, has decided to nominate you as, amb as Ambassador at Large for Haiti to promote our culture, our spirit, and the opportunities that Haiti has to offer to the rest of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you Haiti's best friend, Sean Penn. The problem isn't earthquakes and hurricanes. The problem is poverty. There has been no continental drift. Haiti is still a 90-minute flight from the United States of America. Where is the money? Where is the help? Where is the change? Haiti earthquake. 7.0, January 12th, 2010. San Francisco earthquake, 7.8, April 18th, 1906. Port-au-Prince, Haiti, 2012, two years later. Much of the city looks like the day after the earthquake. San Francisco, 1909, two and a half years later. The city is largely rebuilt. In 1906, they did not have advanced engineering or construction equipment. There was no United Nations and there were no relief organizations. At the time, the first Model T had not been produced. Today, we have advanced engineering and construction equipment. We have the United Nations and we have thousands of relief organizations. Please, tell me what is wrong with this picture. Is it just apathy? Or is it something else? Is prejudice still alive and well? And if it's not apathy, and if it's not prejudice, then why has there been so little change? The United Nations and relief organizations have received billions of dollars for Haiti. What happened to this money? Where's the anger about this waste? Where's the passion for these people? Most Haitians have lived a difficult life, which has engendered an exceptionally hardworking people. This strong spirit has led to Haitians playing an instrumental part in forging change where help has been lacking. It's been claimed that $4 billion have been spent in Haiti since the earthquake. Yet one of the few significant changes on the ground has been made by a citizen activist. Sean Penn had never been to Haiti, had never responded to an earthquake, and had limited resources. Yet he led the effort to rescue the single largest refugee population.
Just days after the earthquake, he arrived in Haiti with only his tent and gathered a great team of volunteers to fill the need for medical help, for shelter, for food, for children's education, and for leadership. Due to its commitment and hard work, JPHRO has been recognized for the most successful rubble clearing project and family relocation effort since the earthquake. The life of a Haitian child born today is no different than the life of a child born in 1950. 60 years and they still live and die in the dirt. It is said that we are dust to dust. And while that may be true, we are the lucky ones, for they are simply dust. JPHRO is made up of great team players and leaders. They are 100% action, which has become a centrifugal force, drawing in other relief organizations and governments to join with and to complement their operations. JPHRO has made more of a difference with a million dollars than others have with a billion dollars. We need to start putting our money where it will make the most difference. Will you help this great team? And will you help lift Haiti out of the dust? Thank you, thank you. Um, I will, I will. Thank you, please. I'm going to be very brief because, quite frankly, the bottom line is they're waiting now. Young brains are starving for education now. There's malnutrition now as we're sitting here tonight. And I, I, I trust that you don't need me to be very charming to tell you that what we've got to do is raise a lot of money tonight and make this because they are our neighbor and the United States can make Haiti the example that will be the dominoes that will help every other country in the world. And it's a city, it's not a country. It's nine million people and we can do it. So I'll come back in a second, but I just want to turn over the, the microphone to uh, Alexandra from our team in Haiti. Good evening. We JPHO employees are proud to have taken the right decision to follow our leader, Sean Penn, to contribute with our knowledge and experience and expertise in changing the life of many people in Haiti, my brothers and sisters to wake up every single day and tell ourselves that we're not only making a living, we're not focusing on caring for our family. We are reaching out others, you other human beings. We're making a difference, a difference. It's all what JP is about. JP is is a multicultural island where Haitians, American, Canadians, Europeans combine their ideas. They give their time to save lives, to provide services to a population who doesn't ask for too much, but for the access to healthcare, to education, to infrastructure, to a secured environment to be able to provide for their own family. We do not pretend to know it all, but we want to make a difference on the ground. JP is about working closely with the community, 
assessing their needs, and finding sustainable solutions. And it's where we need you all. I am from JP's support side, and certainly the medical team, the engineering team, all the programs, the projects, they can't run. They can't realize their, their activities without us, without the proper means, the proper resources, equipment, financial and human resources, the logistic teams, the technology. The fact that you are here tonight means so much to us, means so much to Haiti. We, not, we don't only need your contribution, we need you to come down also to see what we're doing, the work what we have been doing for two years. You are all invited to come and to see what we're doing with your contribution, with your money. And then with all that, I'm going to be able to say that Haiti shall overcome. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander. Um, so I'll just, I, I just want to leave you with a thought as we go into the, I, I suppose it is, and, and please don't flee, um, the, the fundraising part of the night. Um, in Hollywood terms, we, we always think of development as, as something that, that involves experimentation, it involves failures, it involves stumbles, and ultimately, it, it, and, and it involves a lot of projects that don't work. Um, the, the, the studios are filled with, with shelves of, of scripts that were developed, but, but somewhere in it and out of the work comes something that works. Um, development in the aid world is assumed to be a failure when there are the same stumbles, when there are the same multiple attempts at things. But I think that in JPHRO's integrated approach with the government of Haiti and belief in the Haitian people and the support, the extraordinary support of the United States government, and now in, in, in inviting business interests in, that we, we've identified the screenplay that will be Relief's The Deer Hunter that will be its good night and good luck, that will be a great example of what we can do. So yes, there's been a lot of money put forward. There's a lot of money to be pulled from that money that's there. But that's going to be a long and arduous task. There's a lot of bureaucracy in it. So right now, if we're going to make this moment happen, we need you to bank on this golden moment, this golden uh, movement that is the organization I am now a bystander to. The great, that great, I don't mind saying it because it's not mine anymore, it's theirs. The great Haitian organization, JPHRO. Thank you.